Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. I like uh, passed out just now, and then the first thing I, <laughs> first news that I got the moment I just like um, woke up and took a peek on Discord was that there is a new package that's going to be out. I probably look like I'm drunk. Like I, I don't even know how I look right now. I probably look like I'm drunk. Um, <laughs> but there's this is on Cafe Naver. Hasn't been translate it or anything yet but basically this is just another package that's very very similar to the um, the succubus package that we got before so what this means is you will need to buy 15 of these packages in order to get the dark tiger I don't know how many packages it it takes for you to get the set the um, the light one but I think last time it was like halfway so seven six you can or oh you get the you get the gleam at uh seven purchases and then you get the you get your dark tiger at um 15 and then you will have 15 other tigers and then you can turn the turn the light tiger plus the gleam into the dark tiger okay i kind of i kind of get it now so that is basically, it's just like last time, just like the Light Succubus um, package that we had last month. It's going to, well actually no, it wasn't, it hasn't been a month, it's only been half a month. So I, I guess this is kind of like a regular thing that gonna, they're going to be rolling out. They're going to be rolling out all the Nat, Nat 4 Light Dark Monsters, uh, one by one, or something like that. Why does this game feel sped up? Alright, we're going to exit this round and we're going to go take a look at the Light and Dark Tigers. Um... I think that's that's what we're gonna do. Now, the the light and dark tigers are actually both pretty strong, and they actually both have uses. It wasn't like last time where the um, the light succubus was kind of the only good succubus, and the other one wasn't all that good. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna take a look at the light and dark tigers. Now we'll take a look at the dark tiger first because they make it seem like the dark tiger is a lot more. Um, a lot more important or a lot a lot better than the light one and he actually got buffed from from battle rush and attack down um, so I'm actually thinking that maybe they're trying to roll out the like they're, they're they buffed certain light dark monsters um, just a few patches ago you know during the time when they made the changes to to the golems and two of the monsters that they buffed was actually the tiger and the the succubus um they buffed other monsters like the loki the the uh the wild thing and just a lot of other monsters as well so i'm actually thinking that it might be possible that they're going to be releasing those monsters for um for these packages in the future maybe eventually all the light dark monsters are going to be um released or something like that just cross your fingers you know Dang, I should like save up and have like a five dark cupid arena defense would be the best. Um, but anyways, uh, we're gonna be taking a look at the lark, the, the dark tiger. Like I'm, I'm still half asleep right now. You guys, ha you have to forgive me. I like, I just woke up. Um, but the dark tiger, I actually already have him. I already own the dark tiger. Um, mine's very close to evil three. I'm only a few tigers short from getting him to evil three, so I actually don't really need to get this package but what he does is he has battle rush and attack down so he's the only four star monster in the game um, that has battle rush there's only three monsters in the game that have battle, battle rush the other is the dark odin and the light shiva um, and then he also has a 60 percent attack down for two turns and he's really really tanky like just look at his stats like he's just pretty tanky uh, a lot of his stats did really go to recovery, so it's a little bit wasted. But his stats aren't too bad, and the battle rush does help him sustain himself. So he's actually pretty nice. Um, he's not a, he's not like exceptional, but he's not like super super strong, in my opinion. I don't really use him at all. I haven't really raised him, um, but I think he's mostly for going to be for arena defense. If you put leave him on defense, um, he's just going to be a little bit annoying. You know, if you can't really kill him, and you can't really like. If you ignore him, he's going to get his bar up or something like that. So that's kind of what he does. The other thing is the um, the Light Tiger. Now, the Light Tiger is actually really, really good. Um, I would actually class make him 
like I would actually say he's better than the dark one for the reason that he actually is a monster that has CC on his first skill and he has hunter on his second skill what this means is you can actually use him for dragon speed 10 the other good thing about the tigers is he also has a leader skill um, so you can actually like if I if I were to use him I could use him as a leader for um, dragon speed 10 and he can serve as, as a nuker at the same time because he has nuke he has hunter and he's basically like a slightly better version of the wood yaksha and I've actually talked quite a lot about this monster before for um, for Dragon Speed 10. And basically they have the same skill, but the thing is that he is light, so he does come with a base of like 10% extra crit rate. So it's much, much easier for him to get 100% crit rate. So if you want to put him on like Ruin 100% crit rate, um, it's very, very easy because you basically you need 10% less crit rate. So he starts with 20 plus the... Um, you know, plus the gen that that's already seventy four, and um, and then you only need like thirty, no twenty twenty something percent, like twenty twenty six percent crit rate. So it, basically, if you can get a gem, um, like two gems that have like more than thirteen point five, or thirteen percent crit rate. If you have two gems that are more than thirteen percent crit rate, um, you can actually gem him up with with ruin relatively easily. But the thing is like. If you buy these packages, there is a chance, like he is a crit reliant monster, so there's a, there is a chance that he doesn't come with a score slot, so that's actually pretty scary as well. Um, it is it is a pretty big risk, 6,000 astrogen, because you actually do need to spend the 6,000 astrogens in order to get him, because he comes at the 15, 15th pack. You can actually not use the gleam to, to make him into a dark one and use the light one. Um, but yeah, that is that is actually pretty scary. Like, if he comes without a square slot, he's basically 100% useless. Um, the only reason why he's good is because he's he's going to be reliable as a monster with um, with hunter and and like critical hits provide CC. And if he doesn't come with a square slot, like you're just you're just 100% fucked. The other thing is like he's kind of only that good if you have him as a variant. Because um, the thing with sleep is, I, I would say sleep is slightly inferior to stun and and petrify and shock for um, for for dragon's B10. Because if you're running two monsters with CC, you can't run two monsters with sleep. You have to run one with sleep and the other with some sort of other CC. Because um, you would always have to use your sleep unit second. Because if your sleep unit lands asleep and another unit hits it, it wakes up. You know, it's kind of a little bit obvious, but it's not it's not too bad. Like if you only have um, one unit with sleep and the other with stun, it doesn't really matter because you you can still like you can still put CC on like the the same unit and then you know you don't have to worry about waking it up. It's mainly just for the light purse on the first level. If you're interested, you can take a look at all my Dragon Speed 10 runs on other videos. Um, I've done a lot of Dragon Speed 10 runs, so like I, I did a stream like yesterday as well. I did like. Uh, I had like 90 something sigils, did a whole ton of runs. So you can take a look at my Dragon Speed 10 team if you're if you're confused. But um, he's actually a really good unit for Dragon Speed 10. Like that's just, that's all you really need to know. He's one of the best units for Dragon Speed 10. The the scary thing is he has to come with a score slot. So like you could actually be wasting 6,000 Astro gems. I mean the the thing is you can actually try for him, and then if he if he doesn't come with a score slot, you can actually. Um, Get the dark one instead, because the dark one's actually pretty good for, for arena, um, defense and stuff. He's not super good, but he's like, pretty decent, I think, for, for, for arena defense or PVP defense or Astromon League, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, that is pretty much it. I just wanted to, kind of give you guys a heads up on the package. When I think of of these monsters, um, the other thing is like. You know, I could actually get this monster and not get the Wood Yaksha instead, but it only really works because, uh, or it will only really work if I can get a variant Tiger, which isn't too hard. But I already have a variant Wood Yaksha, so like, you know, it's it's uh, it's basically him or the Yaksha, and I basically don't I don't really need both because I can I can get the like you know after I do a few summonings I can eventually get this monster and. And although it's going to be much, much harder for me to push 100% crit rate with this, this one already has a variant skill. And even if I buy all the packs to get the Light Tiger, 
um, there is a chance that it doesn't come with a square slot, which is actually a pretty scary thought. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.